Crestamold Gel Coat 15PA is a vinyl ester-based tooling gel coat with excellent gloss retention and heat and chemical resistance. It is available in both brush and spray versions. Crestamold Gel Coat 15PA S should be sprayed in long, even, vertical and horizontal passes, starting with a mist coat and then building up thickness in passes of 100 to 150 microns until a total thickness of 600 to 800 microns is achieved. The recommended catalyst is Catalyst M, which should be added at 2%. At 20 degrees centigrade, Crestamold Gel Coat 15PA-S is ready to be backed up in less than one hour. Crestamold VE690PA is a pre-accelerated thixotropic modified vinyl ester resin for skin coats in tooling applications. The recommended catalyst is Catalyst M, which should be added to the resin at 2%. Applying Crestamold VE690PA before the first layer of reinforcement will reduce the possibility of any air voids. For molds where a high quality surface finish is required, a surface veil can be used to improve the surface finish and reduce print through. One or two layers of a 300 GSM chopped strand mat should be used for the skin coat. The skin coat should be thoroughly consolidated using a fin or paddle roller taking care to eliminate any air voids before being left to cure. Crestamold RTR 4010PA is a new, improved, rapid tooling resin that incorporates better handling properties, lower viscosity and improved shrinkage control. It comes in natural or white and can either be hand laminated or sprayed. As Crestamold RTR 4010PA is a filled product, it is normal to see some separation. It is important to make sure that any filler that may have settled out is thoroughly mixed back in before use. Once the skin coat has cured, any sharp points in the skin coat should be sanded back and dust removed before applying the tooling resin. Crestamold RTR 4010 PA should be applied using a resin to glass ratio of at least 3 to 1. The recommended catalyst is Catalyst M at 1%. Between three and five layers of 450 GSM chopped strand mat or equivalent should be applied in a single operation, consolidating between layers. Less than three layers of 450 GSM chopped strand mat at a time will not result in enough exotherm to activate the low profile additive. Extra care should be taken when consolidating the last layer to eliminate air voids. After applying 3 to 5 layers of 450 GSM chopped strand mat or equivalent, leave to cure. Once Crestamold RTR 4010PA has cured, repeat the process again using between 3 and 5 layers of 450 GSM chopped strand mat or equivalent to achieve the desired mold thickness. For optimum properties, the best surface finish and long-term performance, the finished mould should be left to cure for 24 hours at 20 degrees centigrade and then oven cured for 16 hours at 40 degrees centigrade before demoulding. After post-curing, allow the mould to cool to room temperature and then demould from the plug. Apply a suitable mould cleaner to remove any excess release agent transferred from the plug and any dirt or contamination from trimming and finishing. Then apply a mould sealer. Finally, apply a release agent. The mould is now complete and ready to be used.